Hey guys, it's Jenny with Jen Jen's Creations and welcome back to my channel. I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy day to come and watch this video. This video that I'm doing right now is a VR for Janet Kay who is having a twinch, twinchy challenge. Now I'm going to link uh, below the video um, of hers where she uh, goes into detail about the Twinchy Challenge. But, um, hang on. I feel so, yeah. Crafts and Tea with Janet Kay. That's her channel name. I wanted to make sure I got it right in this video. So, anyway, Janet Kay is having a tw Twinchy Challenge. And it started August the 7th. And it runs until October 31st. And it is open uh, to U.S. and international, guys. So that's wonderful. She's requesting that you be a visible subscriber. And she's only requesting two, tw two twinchies. Now, you can send in more if you want to. But she's only requesting two. She is asking that you layer them up. Um, to thicken them and make it, make them more sturdy as she's going to be putting them into a journal. Now, I didn't want Janet Kay to see the ones that I sent her, which I just got in the mail yesterday, Janet Kay. Hi, Janet Kay. So, um, but I made some others while I was making hers. So, I just want to show you... Um, I did try to make them uh, two of the same theme. So I made this one using some elements that I got in the Your Creative Studio. Um, what month was it? Uh, the August kit. So the squirrel down there is from that. And the green paper, I believe, is from it. Now, this is just a piece of sari silk, and then I put one of those metal leaves, you know, that I got off of AliExpress, all those metal leaves. I put one there with a little bit of um, gauze underneath it. And then what I did is I took book page, and I used the um, scissors that make the edge that looks like a postage stamp. So the back of it is just a piece of book page that I've inked up, and I've layered everything on top of it. Now this is one um, because I love diamond dust. I haven't been using it very much lately. So I used it on this one. And this is um, a cutout from the uh, Stamperia Old Lace Paper Pad. Which Janet Kay, you have this paper pad. So I cut out this circle with a flower on it. And I used uh, glossy accents around the flower. And then I put diamond dust on it. And then behind it, I put a piece of lace and a little piece of washi tape, which you can barely even see. But there is washi tape back there. And then I ran some uh, hemp cord through a button and glued the button on. So again, the, the back of this is just a book page that I've inked up around the edges. And then um, I put everything else on top of it. So these are kind of like my vintage ones that I made. Ooh, I put that away. Okay, now the other two I was thinking I would probably use in my uh, sunflower journal when I start making it. So this one... I took one of the Dollar Tree sunflowers and just snipped the wire off of it. Again, to make it not so dimensional, I took my scissors and I flattened out the top of the sunflower so it would, you know, not be too dimensional. And then after I did that, I, I did have to use a brown marker and uh, go in on some spots that kind of, you know, showed white underneath it and then I oh this was so hard for me with my hands I made these two tiny leaves out of green paper and tucked them behind the sunflower 
And then this is from a digital kit that I got for free, and I'm so sorry, I don't remember which one it is. I put some yellow gingham ribbon behind here, um, just a piece of uh, a thin cardstock here, inked around the edges of it, and then put some bling here. I can't remember if I already said that or not. And then I used yellow, which is my favorite color, and I inked around the edges of the book page. So that's the first one. Another piece of book page that I inked around the edges and I I can't remember the name of the color of the ink that I use. This one I use uh, squeeze lemonade, but this one was something honey or honey something. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, um, in the background here is a piece of patterned ribbon that I got on sale at uh, Hobby Lobby and I covered it with some of this other ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby that's like a mesh but it's got glitter on it to kind of tone it down a little bit but I did want the yellow to be brought out the yellow in the centers of those flowers and then I used one of my um, AliExpress clear stickers here and then I put a couple of uh, pearls up here some light pink pearls so that is that one so um, I just wanted to show some other twinchies that I made but this is a VR for Janet Kay who is having her twinchie challenge and I will link uh, her video below where she um, explains her challenge and you do have until the end of October 31st, guys. And in that video, in her description box, she does put her email, and you can email her for her address. So you guys still have time to do this. I'm sure all of you are much faster crafters than I am, and you can get this done. Lickety split and get it to Janet Kay. She's such a sweetheart and a doll, and she's having a fantastic amount of... Um, people that are participating in this challenge, and I'm so happy for her. She deserves it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video giving you crafty hugs from Texas, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.